and we'll start uh, in the usual fashion, really. Let's just start comfortably seated. So we're going to journey through the body from the physical body, doing a little bit of physical movement, tuning in our awareness to feelings within the physical body, and then to the more subtle realms of the energetic body, pranamaya kosha it's called, the koshas are the layers. So the energetic body is the breath, and it's actually all the processes that go on inside. So, you know, your um, lymph and your blood flowing, even down to the minutest of cell um, regeneration within the body. And then we go a little bit deeper to the mental layer, Manamaya Kosha, which is um, everything from your thought processes to your memory, to how we interpret the world through our senses. And then we go a little bit deeper into the, um, the Janamaya Kosha, which is your instinctual body. So this plays a part as we move into meditation, because once you've quietened down all the outer layers, as you move in, the more subtle layers, uh, you can hear them a little bit better. So you can maybe sense your own instinctual reaction to things, um, your own truth, um, your own interpretation, really. And then beyond that, when that layer has quietened down as well, then you have the list layer, Ananda Maya Kosha, which is the deep peace you feel when you start to meditate. And it's not stopping the thoughts because you'll never stop the thoughts. But what you find is as you slow everything down, you get a little space in between the thoughts and that little space is like deep peace and you grow the little space between the thoughts. So it's not necessarily stopping how we think. Uh, you can't do that. So we'll start comfortable seat and just tuning in with this kind of meditation posture that we'll be revisiting at the end of class. You want to be able to sit on a cushion or something to raise the hips so that you can comfortably feel supported in the spine without too much effort. We'll start by coming into some stillness and quietness and just notice how that feels. takes practice to slow down, tune in. So just scan the physical body and notice any areas the awareness is drawn to, any twinges or discomfort or effort involved to sit upright. And just notice that. And then tune into your breathing rhythm. Just start to notice the breath. Just let it be in its natural rhythm. We'll start with a little visualization as well. Quite nice, quite nice uh, routine to do if you're feeling a little bit unsettled. So visualize 
this nice line of energy running up and down the spine. Visualize a golden thread running up the back of the body. And the golden thread descends down through the base of the spine into the earth. Visualize this lowering deeper and deeper into the earth. The hooking in and drawing up stable earth energy. Running the energy up and down the spine. And then reaching this golden thread through the crown of the head up into the sky, the universe. Drawing down cosmic universal energy. Visualize maybe 30% earth energy and 70% universal energy running up and down the spine. And then visualize an orange sun, bright glowing just above your head, almost like a bubble. And it glows brighter and brighter till it becomes yellow. Pop the bubble and let the Beautiful, sparkling, bright light draw out of the sun into the crown of the head and gently start to fill the body with sparkling light. Every little inch of the body between the cells Filling the body with this energy, this luminous, sparkling, bright energy. Visualize the energy seeping out of the skin and filling it up the space around the body. Almost like smoke permeating out. This is your protective bubble of light. And in that light, visualize qualities of patience, love, understanding, tolerance, love of self, and love of the divine. When you're ready, draw the palms together, rub the hands, place over the eyes, and gently blink the eyes open, slide the hands down the body. And while we're seated here, we'll do a couple of little eye exercises, just to Ease any tension in the eyes. Maybe we've been looking at our phones or something too much. 
So take your finger out in front and gaze at the tip of the finger. And slowly start to draw the finger in towards the nose. Maybe the eyes will cross a little bit and reach a point where you can still focus on the finger. And then gradually take the finger away to the full length of the arm and then gaze beyond the finger and look as far into the distance as you can. Then take the gaze up. Try not to move the head, just let the eyeballs roll up. And take the gaze to the right. It's like a clock, take the gaze down to the left. To the ceiling and to the center. And we'll go the other way. Gaze up to the ceiling, around to the left. Take the gaze down to the right, all the way up and to the center. Again, rub the hands once more. Close the eyes and just gently place the hands over the closed eyes. A couple of breaths here. Blink the eyes open and slide the hands down the body. The gazing at the far point and the near point really quite good. And yogis kind of believe that you can um, improve the quality of your vision without a doubt by doing these exercises. And also there's a candle gazing exercise, Tratka, which, which maybe we'll do one day where you just gaze at the flame of a candle and that's thought to actually strengthen, um, strengthen the eyes. So we'll come over to hands and knees. And just work through the physical body the first layer, the Anamaya Kosha. So don't worry about the breath to start with, just concentrate on the feeling through the body. So around the spine, inhale, come into your cat cows and bring your awareness to the sensation, any sensation where you're feeling it in the body. Any physical tension as you round in and out of your cat cow. Take the knees wide, hips to heels, stretch the arms forward, forehead down. And bring the awareness now to the breath. Deep breaths in, long breaths out. Walk the hands to the right, stretch through the side body, and maybe the attention can be in two places at once, at the physical feeling, through the side of the body and then also on the breath. Back to centre and over to the left. Really stretch out of the right arm as far as you can Fine tune where you feel the stretch in the body. And follow the breath. And then out. 
Vamos. Come back to the center. Onto hands and knees, knees under hips, walk the hands away, gently lower yourself down. So take the hands out to the sides and just gently lift up into your soft cobra. So take a gaze over the left shoulder and a gaze over the right shoulder. And then maybe the shoulders will dip and there'll be some movement through not only the neck, but the shoulders and the upper section of the back. Now let's keep this kind of wave of a movement going. Any sensation your awareness is drawn to. Forehead down, hands under the shoulders, back to hands and knees. Knees wide, hips to heels, child pose. Deep breaths. Inhale up to hands and knees, tuck the toes, and gently work your way up to standing. So roll back on the heels and uncurl. Keep the knees soft and just hang in your ragdoll. Nod and shake the head. Maybe bend and straighten the legs a little bit. So it gets a little bit of movement going in the hips. Maybe a little swing left to right. Maybe little figures of eight, see how that feels. And then draw the awareness back to the breathing. Try and make the breath flow with the movement. Release the fingers and walk all the way out and lower to hands and knees, knees wide, hips to heels, child pose. Deep breaths. Inhale up to hands and knees and bring the right foot just to the outer edge of the right hand. So you're going to work into kind of an opening. So transfer the weight to the left and just gently roll to the outer edge of the left hip. And then with the right leg, you're gonna to roll to the outer edge of the right foot and press the knee open and sort of work into this kind of almost revolve. Deep breaths. Back to centre, heel toe the foot into centre and gently rock back and forwards, stretching through the hamstring. One more time. Maybe this time you will walk the foot a little further forward and sink the hip down a little. Take a breath. Gently release and come back to hands and knees. Take a couple of cat cows here. Maybe rock backwards and forwards. And left foot to outer edge 
fold the left hand. So again, make the step the right hand out a little bit. And you're going to push the left knee open and roll the right hip towards the mat. So this gentle opening and stretching. Deep breaths here. Just explore this range of motion. And inhale back to center. Heel toe the foot into the center line. And gentle rock backwards and forwards. On the Knee straightening through the hamstring. So as you move slowly, can you feel and breathe? It shouldn't be hard for women. You can multitask, you know. <laughs> well, we're supposed to be better at it anyway. So one more re-bend and um, maybe the foot comes further forward and the hip just descends down to the mat. Deep breaths. Inhale back up. Come back to hands and knees. Knees wide, hips to heels, forehead down. Deep breath. Round up to hands and knees. So just lower down onto the left hip. So we're going to bring the left shin. It's a form of, it's a bit like pigeon, but it's kind of like a sleeping pigeon, slightly different. So this right leg isn't straight behind you. It's in this kind of uh, formation. Bring the heel in towards the hip but the left shin is parallel to the edge of the mat. And then you're going to come down over that left leg and just really lower yourself as comfortably. Find a position you can hold. Deep breaths. Forehead down. And it's not quite as uncomfortable as your pigeon pose, but you're still getting some stretch there through the hip. And inhale to come up. Bring that foot center, little windscreen wiper of the Legs. And come to the other side. So tuck that left heel in, open that right leg. So just do what's good for you here. But you're trying to get this kind of shape and then you can fold down over that thigh. Deep breaths here. Maybe one hand comes on top of the other, forehead down. Deep breaths. So maybe we'll go in a little further and look at how your mind is as you're starting to slow down the movement, regulate the breath, and then look a little deeper, the Manamaya Kosha. Are there any thoughts or feelings or judgments coming to mind? 
as you're working your way through this slow flow. Maybe there's an emotion. Just notice. Inhale to come up, release. I didn't bring my clock, so I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> I probably run way late. We just roll backwards and forwards. I'm going to start working our way down here. No, actually, no, not quite yet. I've got one more stretch I want to do. Grab your two pillows if you've got them, and we'll do a nice forward fold here. So one big pillow under the knees, one big pillow on top of the knees, and as if you're trying to lengthen and stretch the rib cage over these pillows and just gently support yourself forward. So find a way to kind of comfortably have the elbows and bring the hands to your Anjali Mudra. And you can support the, the head or the face here if you like. We're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. So start to surrender over this pillow. Deep breaths. So scan the body from the physical layer. Any feeling or sensation in the body. Maybe you feel the pillow pressing against the belly. Maybe some stiffness in the lower back or shoulders. And then come back to your breathing. Slow the breath down in and out through the nose. Deep breaths, feel the pillow as you inhale. Slowly exhale. And maybe with the index finger and the second finger, you can just massage your temples here. So bring the fingers to the temples and just start to take small circles. Close the eyes. Gently massaging the temples. And then slide the fingers down slightly to the connection of the jaw. So just where the jawbone connects. Maybe your thumbs rest underneath the jaw. And then maybe the two fingers just massage this area around the jaw. Keep the breath going, the eyes are closed. Notice any sensation in the cheeks. Tongue is soft in the mouth. And release hands back to prayer. So inhale as you come up. And we'll come into a form of happy baby with the pillow. So gently roll down, bring the pillow with you. And just take the pillow to the backs of the thighs and bend the knees over the pillow. And let the knees be as wide as you like. Neck is long, upper body's relaxed, you can take the hands down. 
deep breaths. Just relax here, eyes closed. Slow the breath down. You relax. Maybe you want to rock the hips a little bit left to right, see how that feels. Really relax the upper body, shoulders, arms, head. And then relax through the lower back. And feet. Deep breaths. So release the pillow out. Take the pillow to the side. Straighten the right leg and come into a gentle twist. So roll the left knee and just let the knee relax on the pillow. Try open through the chest, open through this left shoulder. Deep breaths here. Maybe the left arm comes up at 90 degrees. Breathe in to stretch the lower back and lower left hip. Try and visualize the breath reaching this area. Little more. We relax the head, face, jaw. Inhale back to centre. You might want to bend both knees up and just settle the sacrum and take the pillow to the other side. Lengthen the left leg. Deep breath in gently. Take that revolve. Now maybe the whole of the body rolls over and then the upper body gently rolls back, the shoulder comes down, maybe the arm bends up. Deep breaths here. Close the eyes. Four more breaths. Gently inhale back to centre. Hug both knees in. Roll to the right and gently press yourself up. Be seated. So we'll work through a little visualization into meditation. So meditation, don't let it be this word that defeats you. <laughs> it's much simpler than we make it out really. It's just slowing down the awareness. 
focusing the awareness and letting the short and thoughts just come and go. But the more you fine tune the awareness, you can start to notice or maybe give yourself a little distance from the thought and not get drawn into it. Just watch it drift away. So come to comfortable seated, palms can be down, just resting on the knees, or you can have them resting in the lap with the thumbs touching. Whatever feels good to you. You want the spine to be long. You want to be able to sit up and kind of visualize the spine as this conductor of energy, as we did in the beginning. The head is gently resting on the shoulders, so draw the chin back a little bit to make the head comfortable. And settle into your seat. Close the eyes. And bring your awareness to the nostrils as the breath enters the body. So feel Maybe the coolness as the air comes in and the warmness as it gently flows out. Follow the breath in. And follow the breath out. Bring the awareness to the lungs as they fill with air. Comfortably full. Feel the lungs as they deflate. Inhale. Feel the ribs and the back of the body inflate. And feel the lungs. Gently contract. Follow the breath in and follow the breath out. Lower the awareness to the belly region. And visualize the space inside the body. The breath comes in. And the breath flows out. Bring your awareness to your back. Strengthen the spine. The upper back and the shoulder blades. Breath comes in. Feel the breath and the breath flows out. Bring your awareness to the back of the head. And 
and space inside the head. Point right in the center of your brain. In the eyebrows and the tops of the ears back into the center. Visualize the breath filling the space as it flows in and flows out. Bring your awareness to your face. Relax your face. Can you see your face? Imagine looking in a mirror. And trace the outline of your face. And move your awareness above your body and look down at the whole of your body sitting on your mat. The breath flows in and the breath flows out. The breath flows in and the breath flows out. And with your eyes closed, work your way down onto into your Shavasana. Or you might want to grab your blanket and your pillow and your eye pillow. Find a comfortable spot to use any cushions you like, any support you like, anything you like. Cover yourself up. Cozy. And place your eye pillow over the eyes. 
So really find a position you can completely relax in here. Deep breaths. Let the body settle. Mind setting. Notice any feeling in the body. So bring your awareness to the legs, the feet, the hips, the back. The arms, your head, and your whole body. And draw your awareness inside your body. To your breath flowing in and flowing out. And visualize your breath drawing oxygen to all the cells in the body. Letting the cells glow and tingle with life, with prana. Visualize the blood flowing round the body, oxygenating all the organs. Fine tune your awareness to the cells within the blood. To the tiniest particle you can imagine. Bring your awareness to your Manamaya Kosha, your mind, your thoughts. And your memory, any memory that comes to mind. Visualize a flower and you're bringing the flower up to your nose and you're smelling the flower. And the flower smells so rich and so sweet. And draw your awareness to your deeper layer. 
that deeper layer of imagination, intuition. May we just know Slowly start to draw your awareness to the space around your body. And visualize the space reaching up to the ceiling. And expand the space up to the sky. Expand the space out to the stars. Visualize lying under a starry night and the stars are so bright. Expand as far as you can imagine. And know that all is connected. Gently inhale, fill the lungs. Maybe move the fingers and the toes. Take your Eye mask off. Take a stretch and a hug. And then rock and roll. And when you're ready, gently roll to the right. Press yourself up. Two seated. Palms together. Thumbs to heart, chin to chest. Pause for a moment. Reflect on all the layers. From the gross to the subtle. Acknowledge the deeper layers. And believe that this is where the richness lies. We'll end with an on. Cleansing breath.
deep breath into Om. Ah.